Question. What kind of people do you find in the workplace? There are three broadly recognizable types. Um, tourists, terrorists, and transformers. Question. Really? What do you mean by that? Well, tourists are along for the ride. They don't have much influence on events. Terrorists, on the other hand, can be very influential, but have egos and problem personalities. And Transformers are people who make things happen and influence events in a positive way. Question. What is the ratio? Well, it depends on the culture of the company. I'd say on average it's 10% terrorist, 10% transformer, and 80% tourist. Of course, some companies like Google and Apple are full of transformers. Question. So, which one are you, Martin? I do hope you're not a terrorist. <laughs> a great question, Alan. Uh, everyone is to a certain extent a mixture of all three. Sometimes we are tourists, sometimes we are terrorists, and occasionally we are transformers. Question. What do you mean by tourist? Do they take lots of pictures and wear funny hats? <laughs> no, but they don't offer fresh ideas. They only follow instructions. They avoid attention and resist change. They only want stability. They protect knowledge and don't seek new challenges. They wait for others to act before acting. They never speak up in meetings. They are the typical yes-men that you find in the company. Uh, Always agreeable. Uh, question. What do you mean by terrorist? Do they blow things up? Metaphorically, yes. They create a bad atmosphere that undermines morale. They have a negative attitude to change, criticise without offering solutions. They work in opposition to the management. They gossip and create distrust. They suppress subordinates. They have big egos and they cause big distraction. Question. But... Why don't we fire these people? <laughs> Good question, Alan. Yes. Um, often these people are connected and indispensable in other ways, like they're very talented. For example, you might have a great salesman, a brilliant chef, or a prima donna. Uh, question. What do you mean by transformer? Transformers are people you want to hire. They're adaptable to change. They approach problems in a variety of ways. They are assertive. They are flexible. They offer ideas and suggest solutions, but they also accept final decisions of management. They understand the long-term vision of the department and they work hard to achieve it. They volunteer for new projects because they see them as opportunities. They spend significant time in the proactive zone. So, if you want a happy and successful company, you should hire Transformers. Question, why don't we do that? Because our interviewing criteria is dinosaurs, often based on the scores you got at university or what school your father went to. But we really should be hiring for character. Um, we should hire someone who has a passion for the business. Question. But how will I recognize these people? In an interview, it is important to ask questions that elicit transformer-type responses. Yeah. Uh, but to answer your question, Alan, you'll recognize them by the way they walk. They are very confident. They listen. They ask good questions. And because they've done the research on their company, they're not afraid to disagree with you. Yeah. Um, transformers usually recognize each other. So it's important to have transformers in key positions, and especially in the interview panel. Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting, Alan. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Alan.